everyone. This is Rene Ritchie from Mobile Nations. We are doing CES Live 2014, and I'm talking to Ian from Sphero. How's it going, Ian? It's going really good. So you have something new this year. You have the Tubi. Yes. So what's that all about? Um, so we are obviously expanding the brand of Sphero. So this is a really cool product. It goes um, a lot faster than Sphero. Uh, it's very customizable, and we have some new multiplayer stuff that we're doing with it. Okay, awesome. So what was the idea? You wanted to appeal to a wider audience, you wanted it to be more mainstream. What was the, the goal? Um, so, I mean, the goal is, uh, you know, we look at Sphero, a lot of people like, like to drive it, obviously, and it's fun. Um, they like the different apps. So we decided to take specifically the driving part of it um, and make another device that was really cool to drive. So this thing, like I said, this thing goes about as fast as most people can run. <laughs> um, and when it hits a little jump, it's about this high. Um, it gets about three feet of air. Wow! And this thing's crazy. Like you hit a little, like you know, a little, little tile or something on the ground. This thing goes like crazy tumbling, which really uses our control system that we've developed for Sphero, um, which is you aim it and then you just push the joystick in the direction you want it to go. So it's cool. Like when it hits the, when it hits this little jump or whatever, it just, it's, I mean, it's crazy. It's just like tumbling in the air, flying over. And then you're just keeping your finger on that same direction, and the control system, like in the air in slow mo, you can like see it correcting itself. And it just takes off, like still in the direction you want it to move. It makes you feel like you're in control without you having to do all the hard work of being in control. Right. So this is for speed freaks, obviously, but it's got some serious tread on it as well. Yeah. So that's that's actually one of the things that's customizable. So this is a nubby tire, um, and these these specific rims. Um, but if you look around at like some of our other tubies that we have that we're demoing today, um, there's you can like put on different tires, different hubs, different colors. Um, so we have some other tires that don't have this nubby tread on them. That's good for like drifting. So if you see me driving on this this carpet, it'll actually like flip over a lot of times when I try to turn. Okay. Um, but like the smooth like racing rims, um, it'll it'll like drift around the corner and like it's crazy. Right. So it's almost like a video game where you can assign, like, you can get the car that you want, the fast one or the, the dexterous one or the sliding one. You can sort of customize it to how you want to drive. Yeah, exactly. So you, you mentioned some multiplayer stuff. What's that about? Um, so we're going to do a couple different things. So one is we're adding an infrared shooter to the front of this thing. Nice. So you'll be able to battle with your tubes. Um, and the other part of it is racing. So we're using Bluetooth Low Energy for this device, okay. which allows us to do a lot of stuff with proximity. So we're making these little uh, Bluetooth LE beacons that you can put around your office, your house, or wherever you want to race. And then you'll be able to drive around to these checkpoints. And you just like, when you get within a certain range of the checkpoint, the app knows where you are, it knows where all the other two Bs are. Um, you'll be able to race your friends. And also like, while you're racing, obviously using the infrared shooters and you know battling them as well. So it's a video game come to life. Exactly. So platforms, iOS, Android, what does it support right now? Um, so we will be supporting iOS and Android. Um, like Sphero, you can program it in a lot of different languages. So Sphero, the ball, um, you can program it in 16 different languages. You'll be able to do the same thing with 2B. Um, so it's very customizable from the app side. Okay. Um, a lot of the apps that work for Sphero will also work for 2B. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, orbotics, we're all about making these fun, you know, connected, to, connected toys that really allow people to be creative. It's not just for one thing, but it you know, allows you to like think more and, and do Absolutely. more things. So I know it's early still, but any word on pricing availability yet? Um, so, so roughly um, under $100 for sure, um, probably early fall. Awesome. Um, anything else we're looking forward to from Sphere this year? Is the original one getting any love? Yes, so we have uh, six new apps that just uh, just coming out now. Um, one of the cool, well, we just released a new update for our main Sphero app that adds this campaign mode. Okay. So there's this whole story. So we got um, data from Star Trek to do the voiceover for our app, and it's really cool. And um, there's this whole story of like why Sphero is on Earth, um, you know, why he's in their house, and like you have to play all these missions and stuff to get him, you know, through 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 the game. It sounds like you're having a blast with it. Oh, I love it, yeah. All right, so where can people go to find out more information? Uh, so they can go to our website, which is gospero.com, G-O-S-P-H-E-R-O. -E awesome. This is Renee from uh, Mobile Nations. We're at CES Live 2014. This is Ian from Spiro. Thank you so much, Ian. Thank you.